Hello guys, today's about movies that should have a sequel. These are movies that are a part that not necessarily need to be do a sequel or movies that sort of been a trilogy, but for some reason they didn't make a trilogy despite being a massive success at the box office and being a massive success at home as well. So we talk about ten a couple movies that they need a sequel. First movie is Rampage. Rampage does doesn't have a sequel yet for some reason. Despite the movie being a massive success, it being based off a old arcade game, and also the GameCube game as well, I used to have a lot of fun playing the GameCube game. But this movie made a lot of money, $428 million. And you don't need to even continue the specific cast of characters. Well, people, what the game is, what the game was really about was monsters destroying buildings. You can make it about a different cast of monsters, a different cast of characters. For example, in the GameCube version, there were like 20 or 30 different monsters. You could just make more mo more different types of monsters than just the fleet. Or in the GameCube one, for example, there was a mount giant rat that ran around and destroyed buildings and stuff. So, and it could also make it around different cities as well, not the Chicago. What about one in Los Angeles? What about one in London? It could be it's the same. For example, these types of movies, I think they can make more of these types of movies, like Rampage. And I know the critics didn't really like this movie that much because, but it's like Godzilla playing with the monsters. Yes, but this movie was basically, if you like the game, if you like the Rampage game, like that, like the one I played on the GameCube when I was a kid, you will probably like this movie, basically, because this is what they expected it to be. Mon there was lots of scenes where monsters destroy buildings, monsters destroy buildings, monsters destroy, but beating each other up, basically your classic stuff, okay? It doesn't have to be about the same set of characters, specifically, but... They, they should really set it in a different, with a different set of characters. Next movie is another movie that people don't really like is Pixels. I'm shocked that this hasn't had a sequel yet. Considering that those, considering that Pixels is basically about video games. And there are so many video games out there other than retro video games. Heck, you can put Minecraft in it, you can put Halo, you can put Call of Duty and more modern games. Whatever, whatever new sequel. And well, if they make a sequel, and the, and the aliens find out about newer games, and they send newer games after you, and it's, you know, it would be a lot of craziness and a lot of funniness, basically. And Sony would, and of course, Sony would basically get all their copyrights and stuff. You could have references to Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Halo. Why not Halo? Halo's not gonna happen, but you know, because it's a Sony movie. But you could have references to Minecraft, of course. Uh, you could have references to Borderlands and other newer games. It would probably be alright if it include like M rated games or references to GTA and all these bigger blockbusters games. Or you can make it about like NES or Super Nintendo games. Those games are also old and retro games like The Resident of Zelda and Super Mario. Those games I think will be pretty cool to see in this as well. I know they're made by Nintendo, but Donkey Kong was also in the first Pixels movie. So I don't think they would have a problem putting Ma references to Super Mario Brothers and the Resident of Zelda and Mega Man and other old retro games. Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, other old retro games for the NES, Super Nintendo, or Second Genesis. Heck, you can even put games for the N64 and stuff. I think... And I think you, you could also include more different characters from... And more, and from other countries, for example, Japan and other, and the Europe and South America, because because this game is crossed all around the world. It doesn't have to be for all around America. Game have a Canadian character, the as well. You don't have to have all American characters. There's as well. You even have the original cast return in this movie and have a new cast of gamers who are more familiar with the newer games. But I think this would be a movie that will probably get a sequel like a five or six years from now, not anytime soon. So yeah, number two, Pixels. Number three is another movie based off a video game, and that is Ready Player One. The, the only reason this movie is on this list because there is a sequel to Ready Player One. Yep, there's a sequel in book form of Ready Player One. So no surprise that I wouldn't be surprised if they make a sequel to the book because there's already a Ready Player 2 which is a book made by the same person probably based off the success of the movie. It released last year on November 24, 24, 24 2020 and it was actually in develop the book was actually uh, in development for since 2015. 
So obviously, Ready Player One could obviously get a sequel called Ready Player Two, which is based off the second book made by the creator of the move of the book. So obviously, Ready Player One could get a sequel, obviously based off the second book that already exists. So you already have source material that already exists. Now going from video games to other movies. So the next movie is Inception. Now I'm not talking about the actual continuation of the characters from the first movie, but Inception could be an actual pretty good and intelligent movie series. It doesn't have to be exactly like the first movie. This movie is about exploring people's dreams and stuff. They could explore other people's dreams and have new cast of characters and stuff, and explore more people's dreams and have new sets of characters, new cast of characters. This movie is 10 years old and surprised that they have not done this yet. Surprised they have not done this with a new cast of characters. There's in Inception. It is kind of just mind boggling at this point that Inception doesn't have a sequel despite it being a. It would probably even make a billion dollars at the box office too. Too. But I think Inception would basically. They would make it a dust as confusing as the first movie. And it will basically be about, about another thief, another guy with a well ability to enter people's dreams and deal with his secrets as well. He's not, Dom Cobb is not the only guy. Yep, not the only one. They could set up more guys who are able to do this as well. So, next, that is Inception. Number 5. Movies that should get a sequel. Number 5 is, of course. Mm. Number 5 is more Godzilla movies. Made by Legendary Pictures. So Godzilla vs. Kong was a fantastic movie. The Godzilla vs. Kong was fantastic. Godzilla King of the Monsters is fantastic. Godzilla is a massive universe. I think a sequel to Godzilla vs. Kong is, would happen. And I think the two prime monsters for it is Space Godzilla and Destroyer. Destroyer being one of the most powerful monsters Godzilla has faced, and Space Godzilla being introduced in the newer Godzilla movies. Or even bring back King Ghidorah in some form. For like Mecha King Ghidorah, which actually exists in Godzilla canon. Or they can just bring back, they can just make another Mecha Godzilla, because who knows what they could do in that. But Godzilla is just a massive universe, and seeing more Godzilla fighting big monsters. With a massive budget instead of, you know, you know, with a massive budget, you know, and massive spectacle. Yeah, the critics may not like it, but there's a lot of monsters in the Godzilla universe that have not been seen. And also, and also there's also all the other monsters that were introduced in the Monsterverse as well. What about their powers and abilities? I know they're making a TV show about that, but what about their powers and abilities? Huh? Godzilla vs. Kong? What about the other Titans as well? Well, maybe Godzilla fights them? You never know. The next movie is Rio 2. We're probably not going to ever get a Rio trilogy for some reason, but Rio got a sequel in 2014, and there's not a Rio 3 for some reason. This quote, they could have made a fun movie to make the movie a trilogy. Gee, I know it doesn't need to be a trilogy, but Rio was a pretty good movie. The first movie was pretty good. The second movie was not was pretty good as well, but... The surprisingly, they have not made a Rio free. Rio, of course, is based off the boomer cars, which are actually based off the Spixper cars, which are actually not extinct. They're extinct in the wild. There's a difference there. But surprisingly, they have not turned this movie into a trilogy as well. Well, I know they had the ending of all the birds in the Amazon, but they could have a trilogy where the humans get angry and they try to get back so they can cut down the force again or something like that. To make this movie at least a trilogy and then make a movie at the faint end for a trilogy. But there we but again it were you know and of course because the hu greedy humans wanna take back the rights, but I think they'll be pretty boring to make a Rio free. If you feel think about the ending of Rio 2 where the area was considered a national sanctuary. But it was always kind of odd they never made a fun movie. They could have even they could have made it about just com but uh, non human conflicts. The conflicts between the bird characters as well. And a new and yeah, new conflicts with the bird characters. Or it could take place like 20 or 40 years after this movie and the Boober Car population actually did go back up in population. But then the humans come back and try to destroy the forest again because of because of a change of leadership in the country of Brazil. So yeah, I think there's a lot of plots they can do with a third movie. 
V because of course humans are obviously greedy it can sort of greed of humans and so that they just don't really care about animals and especially with this you know especially with the whole save the species method of this movie they could easily do it now with uh, as well so but they're not going to make a third one because of Disney blah 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 the next movie on the list that gets to get a sequel is Alita uh, why don't they have a Alita sequel yet this is on the list, this, don't worry, this is on the list of movies that don't have sequels for some odd reason. But you know, they'll give Peter Rabbit a sequel. <laughs> that garbage. They'll give that garbage a sequel. But Arita set up this universe that was very interesting, that was very amazing. It was like one of the first actual universes that I actually was interested in in a while. This was, why don't they have a sequel to this? Of course, you can always read the manga, but the movie universe is going to be different from the manga regardless. Because the manga is definitely much more dark and much more violent and much more dreaded. No, much more dread. Dreaded and, uh, like, you know, dread, like, you know, you know what I mean. Like, you know, dark, you know, much more. But Alita... Actually, did make money at the box office. The budget is ranged from two hundred million to five hundred fifty million. Of course, the budget, actual budget, is around one hundred thirty million, including tax cuts from the Texan government. But this movie, surprised they had not got a sequel, despite the fan demand for for the movie, and actually places at number one. Besides, Guardians of the Galaxy two, which already came out, a movie that could see that we should see. So. Why don't we have an Arita Part 2? Nobody knows why. Again, why don't we have a sequel to Rampage either? <laughs> even, though we, even though I would want to see more Rampage, more just animal, man, animals destroying buildings. Oh, and they even put you on a cliffhanger. Basically saying there's going to be a sequel. But there's no sequel. Unlike other movies that the sub sequels, why do we need a sequel to that like Hellboy? We don't need a sequel to Hellboy. That movie sucked already. But Arita was amazing, unlike Hellboy. So... Yeah, why do But you know who is getting a sequel? Fucking Captain Marvel. Why is he getting a sequel? Nobody knows why. The next movie that's gonna get a sequel is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight movies that get to get a sequel. Cool. You know what? I know they're making a third Ace Ventura movie. Supposedly they're making one, but we never got a third Ace Ventura movie to make the movie series a trilogy. Ace Ventura 1 and 2 are always comedy classics that I always go back to. Surprisingly, so don't have a true Ace Ventura 3. And no, that Kids 1 does not count as an Ace Ventura 3. This does not count as Ace Ventura 3. We want a real Ace Ventura 3 with Jim Carrey as the lead, or at least some other similar actor in a comedy, like Ronald Reynolds or someone else similar to like Adam Sandler. I know like, there are people going to gasp at when I said that, but we don't really have a true sequel to Ace Ventura Pet Detective and Ace Ventura Data Calls, when Data's called, called, and we never got a third movie with. Ace Ventura, it could, have made, it could have been a perfect comedy trilogy, too. Too, it was one of the rare comedy movies that actually got a sequel. Well, for some reason, we never got it. And, of course, they actually are making a third movie. But there has been nothing else since then. So, when are you going to get a third Ace Ventura movie? A true Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura movie with Jim Carrey. Which he is going, which he is finally going back. It'll probably be to a older Jim Carrey, older Ace Ventura. Like it'll kind of be like Johnny Ingram, the first Johnny Ingram movie. Well, Johnny Ingram is like an old and he's retired, and you have to bring him out of retirement or something. But yep, Ace Ventura Free is heading to Amazon and tapping the Sancti Hedgehog Raiders. So there is some hope there with Ace Ventura Free, but. Yeah, Ace Ventura 3, a real Ace Ventura 3, not wherever this garbage is called Bad Detective Jr., yeah, I think it'll be much better. So, number 8, 9, The Meg. So, The Meg is another movie that has a sequel in development, but for some reason, there is, there, there is no sign of it coming out. So, they actually gave an update on Meg 2, and yeah, this movie is it's called Meg 2 The Trends. And they confirmed it like a while ago too. 
The Meg was a pretty great sock movie. It was basically a ton of fun to watch. I watched it like four or four or five times already. Basically, because I usually watch new movies. I don't really go back to old movies. But The Meg is always one of them. And they said, yeah, I'm making a second movie. But other than that, there wasn't really anything else about the movie. The Meg does not have a sequel for some reason. I would go see it. <laughs> it's more... I, I don't think it'll be as great as the first one. I don't want to turn to the Zod series. But... They actually... They even... They even said... They even... But there is more socks down there. And... There's more opportunities for a sequel. To the Meg. So, yeah. The Meg. Number 9. The last movie that needs a sequel... Is Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu 2... Was actually confirmed. But then... The COVID-19 pandemic... Hit. And... Detective Pikachu 2... Same thing with the game. They're also supposedly making a game. There's, even the cast does not think this will happen. Because of COVID-19. But the movie was super successful. The movie was super smart. Funny. It was one of the best video game movies ever made. Made. But Detective Pikachu. It too doesn't. Why? Sonic Hedgehog is already getting a sequel. But we're still in 2021. And there's still no official Detective Pikachu 2 announced. Announced and same thing of the Switch game, and yeah, both the movie and the game were being made alongside together. The game was basically Japan exclusive for like four years already, and it's kind of like the self Detective Pikachu, and thus never thought of it again. Now we're gonna go over the bonus movies that's again a sequel. So the Detective Pikachu two, one of those movies surprisingly never has got a sequel yet. Despite it being so funny and clever for a Pokemon movie. And yeah, we really want to see more of this Detective Pikachu live action, you know, Pokemon, real life Pokemon. Because everybody thought real life Pokemon would look so disgusting or weird or bad, but they actually nailed it perfectly with real working Pokemon Mon as well. So, the next movie that's a good sequel, surprisingly, has never got a sequel. Is another is another anime. It's another movie that hasn't got a sequel yet, or hasn't had a announced sequel. I'm not gonna put like a Pixar movie on this list because I know that guy can make a sequel to it. Half of those movies on the list, but the next movie, number eleven, number eleven is The Mask to an actual, real sequel to The Mask. So The Mask was a pretty funny and entertaining movie with Jim Carrey in it. And for some reason, we never got a sequel to the movie. It was because Jim Carrey fell out of with comedy because he got obsessed with the golden statue, the Oscar statue, and not doing stuff that he loved doing the best. But the mask too. Why did we get? Why did we get this abomination as a sequel to the mask? Cause they even have Jim Carrey in it. It was just an abomination as a whole, and. Yeah, you know, and yeah, The Mask was a is another classic Jim Carrey movie that has never gotten a sequel, despite you know movies like movies. <laughs> some movies just getting sequels like Ran Before Time. The Mask it could at least made like a, a movie trilogy with Jim Carrey, but for some reason Jim Carrey didn't make a sequel, a true sequel to The Mask. You know, even though The Mask is considered a classic. You know, comedy movie with Jim Carrey. So why hasn't the mask gotten a sequel? Despite all the hilarious things that could happen in a sequel, no one knows why. I got a TV series at least. That's it. TV series. Yep, that's it. Mask. And yeah, the next movie, number twelve movies that have never gotten a sequel, but should. Have. Deadpool 2. Yep. Why doesn't Deadpool... Why isn't there a Deadpool 3? Well, we can all say why. Disney. Disney, 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 Disney is the reason why there was no Deadpool 3. But Deadpool 2 was a... Was probably... Was not as great as the first one. But it was still pretty funny and entertaining. I mean, but Deadpool 2 did not get a sequel. How did they how did they not get a sequel? It's because of Disney. We all know it's because of Disney. But they still at least work something out by now. 
now, and we sort of got, and we sort of gotten a sequel to Deadpool 2. Yeah, but Deadpool, uh, yeah, they called me, you know, made a Deadpool 3 and make it a trilogy, but there's so many, so many problems with Deadpool 3, so many problems with Deadpool 3, and they are finally making a third movie, finally making a third movie, the... But you never know. They even they they don't know if they're making a Deadpool free. So they still have no idea about Deadpool free. But at least he's making free guy with the woman whose name must not be said because oh I was to get banned off of YouTube. But yeah, Deadpool free. For some reason they still don't have a third Deadpool movie. But don't worry, we got the New Mutants instead. A movie that was complete garbage. Instead of Deadpool 3. So, it really shows the priorities there. Okay. <laughs> you know. And we got Dark Phoenix. And the, the third movie about Jean Grey. Okay. There have been more movies about Jean Grey than Deadpool. That's just hilarious right there. So, yeah. Next movie. Number 14. Is a sequel to the B movie. So a lot of people want this to happen just for the hilarity that would happen, just for the memes that would happen. But they said like four or five reasons why they won't make it. They made it, they said like five years ago, you know, that they wouldn't make a sequel. But that was five years ago. Why haven't they made a sequel to the B movie? Even though they have all of these, you know... And no, we're not going to go on like some random news like, oh, they're actually are making a sequel. No, they're not making no part two to a B-movie. And DreamWorks hasn't really made, you know, but the, you know, they have the priorities. They're making Boss Baby 2 <laughs> and a sequel to Spirit like 15 years afterwards. Maybe like the end of this decade we might see a B-movie too because they got, made a sequel to Spirit. But considering the big, the big meme this movie has turned into, the big meme this movie has basically turned into like this big massive meme, the fact that you wouldn't want to cast in on the B movie memes is just absolutely hilarious and stupid at the same time. Considering that you know, Joker basically sold off of memes and stuff, and other movies did as well. So why don't we have a sequel to the B movie, DreamWorks, the movie DreamWorks made? Next movie DreamWorks was made is that that doesn't have a sequel is Captain Underpants. So Captain Underpants is basically it's a pretty hilarious and smart movie on like book smart. <laughs> you know they have a TV series on Netflix as well, but they haven't had it. I'm surprised they have not made a sequel. I think it's because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. And because DreamWorks is also has priorities of making a sequel to the Boss Baby. I didn't hate the Boss Baby, but this movie sort of got a sequel before Boss Baby. Because this movie was actually funny. And so I actually used to make fun of this movie too. But this movie is just very, 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 very funny. And it was a very smart comedy. It's very great. The art style was very great and unique. Just the movie, the whole uniqueness of this movie overall deserves a sequel. Overall, the whole uniqueness of Captain Underpants, the movie. Because there are so many books and so many just hilarious, you know... Antics they could do in a sequel, I think, you know, it is like one of the funniest movies I've seen in a while. So, that's another movie that should have a sequel, a part two, you might as well say. And the last movie that should get a sequel is... The last movie is Kung Pao 2. So, Kung Pao 2 is a hilarious parody of, you know, Kung Fu action movies, basically, and... This movie is basically an underrated cult classic movie, but they said they were going to make a sequel called Kung Pao to the Tongue of Fury, but there hasn't really been anything. For some reason, they have not made a sequel, despite them announcing it five years ago. And I don't think it will actually be a movie that will be coming out, but this is a sequel that has been announced... And we have had no information on since then. Since. So Kung Pao, I think, is the last movie on this list to get a 
sequel. It's a pretty funny parody. I would like it would be pretty funny to see more of this and see more of the stuff they sewn in the movie and the at the end of the movie, more of the ridiculous and hilarious stuff and the end of the movie that they were sort of like, like you know all that stuff they saw at the end of the movie. They even were making fun of the fact that movies get sequel to come back to the sequel. So that's basically it about the video. Goodbye.